What's up guys? Welcome to this new video and today I'm going to show you how to install the Assassin's Creed Unity mod that lets you wear the Parisian Brotherhood outfit on Arno. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video and I'd love to hear what you think. Before we get started, it's important to know that for this mod to be useful, you're going to need to have the Altair outfit unlocked in the game. Um, the mod effectively just reskins the Altair outfit. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work with any of the other outfits in the game. It's kind of a bummer because the Altair one's rather difficult to unlock, but at any rate, I will link a video down in the description of a person showing us how to do that on his own YouTube channel that I think was very helpful when I, when I figured it out. Um, so I would recommend watching that if you don't have the outfit unlocked yet. And without further ado, let's get into the mod installation itself. So to start the installation, you're going to need to first go to the website, uh, the mod page, which I'll link in the description as well. You're going to go to the mod page and the description is very confusing on how to install it, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. To get the mod, mod downloaded, obviously you're going to go to the files tab. You're going to click download uh, and choose manual download, whatever, slow download, whatever you want, get the file downloaded. And then you're going to come back to the main description tab. And in the description tab, in the instructions, you'll see two links that he puts in the first step. And you're going to go ahead and choose the first one of those links, going to highlight it, copy it, and you're going to paste it into your uh, search bar. It'll download the file you need. Um, I don't know why he put two links there because you only need one of these files and it's the first one of the two. So go ahead and download that file. It's the Ubisoft Forge tool. And once you have that file downloaded, you'll have two files in total. You're going to go ahead and copy these or cut them or whatever. I, I, I cut them and I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder on my desktop to keep track of everything in just for simplicity's sake. So I'm going to call, call that Brotherhood Outfit, open that folder and paste the files we downloaded into that folder. These are two 7-zip files. Um, so you're going to need a tool like 7-zip to extract them. Uh, I'll link, uh, put, put a link to that as well in the description. Once you make sure you have 7-zip installed, you will be making a new folder. At, again, this is more just for convenience, but it, I really recommend it. I'm going to call mine exported. It's where we're going to be exporting a ton of files, and I mean a ton of files. So we're going to go ahead and make that folder and then extract both of our 7-zip files. And once we have those extracted, you'll see you know the exported folder we just created is empty, of course. But you're going to go ahead and go to your game's installation folder. Um, which for me is under this path. It's under uh, pro program files times 86, uh, Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, Assassin's Creed Unity, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you're going to go in there. You're going to find the correct file. The file should be called data PC ACU Paris.forge. You're going to go ahead and copy. Well, actually, let's cut the file. We're going to cut that out of there and put it into our uh, folder with all of our files that we're working with. You're going to go ahead and navigate into your Ubisoft Forge tool folder, launch the Forge tool, and you're going to choose the export option and it's going to prompt you to choose a forge file first and then a folder later so we're going to go ahead and choose the forge file we just pasted into our main folder of operations um, select that click open and then you're going to choose the exported folder for exporting the files and you're going to go ahead and say select folder and then it will do this process it took about three ish minutes for, for mine to do it um, so you're going to have to wait a hot minute but i'm going to go ahead and skip to the end of that for the video all right, now we have that finished. You can hit enter to exit out of the Ubisoft Forge program. Now that we have that exported, you'll go into the exported folder to see that you now have about 25,000 files that have been extracted from the Forge file itself. So you're gonna go ahead and now navigate to the Brotherhood uh, mod folder. You're gonna find the subfolder that is for the Paris Forge, the ACU Paris Forge file itself. Um, you'll note that there's also a subfolder for the DLC, um, which I'll get to that in a little bit. It's just uh, if you want to have the outfit showing up in the DLC as well. But for now, you're going to go ahead and choose the right subfolder. You're going to copy all the files in that subfolder, and you're going to go back to your exported folder and paste those copied files there. And you're going to go ahead and replace the ones that are already in the exported folder. So that is basically replacing the Altair skin with the Parisian Brotherhood skin. Now that you have that done, you're going to go ahead and return to the Ubisoft Forge tool, launch it. You're going to choose import this time. Once you have selected import, it will prompt you to choose the Forge file first and then this, the folder you're 
importing from. So it's basically the same as before. Go ahead and choose that forge file, that original forge file, and then choose the exported folder as the folder we're importing from. It's going to do another process that can take a minute or two. Once it's done, you're gonna see a new, literally new, I mean, it's titled dot new at the end, a new forge folder in our main folder of operations. This is our new forge folder, literally. So you're gonna go ahead and copy that, cut it, and you're gonna go back to your game installation folder and paste it in there. And once you have it pasted in there, don't forget to remove the dot new ending from the file. It's gonna prompt you to confirm that you want to change the name. Go ahead and click yes, because it will work, I promise. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and launch the game and voila, it should work. And once you have that figured out, remember you do need to have the Altair outfit equipped, which is why it's showing for me I already have the outfit equipped. And uh, as a side note, if you want to change the colors of the outfit, there's two options of colors. Um, you can just toggle the colors in the color, color menu and it will uh, let you toggle between the dark and the light outfits. Um, and yeah, that's about it. If you do want to have the outfit installed for the DLC, you'll follow the exact same process we did just for the DLC. And I think it's in the subfolder DLC 11 or something, and you'll find the, the uh, what is it, St. Dennis dot forge something or other. And you'll follow the exact same process. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video because that helps me a lot. And le let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them down there. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're not new to the channel. I do make videos regularly, so I hope you will stick around for more and I'll see you next time.